The Leopardstown in handicap chase, three miles, zero to 120. River Kemp is up the top for Carl Aragonte. We have Midnight Fantasy, Black Absolutes, Sphinx Princess, Lord Babushka. Nine to two pre-race favourite is Holy Howe for Stu Gray. Cuisine, Some Lady, Alpha Romeo, Mine's a Double Josephine. Chasing Clouds and Swift Lady for Darren House, number 12. And they're off. They come to the first of nine. A few jump slow, but they're all safe. Slow jumps a um, slow jump is a safe jump. Quite a few double entries in this one. We got uh, at least four trainers. With two in. So it's Cuisine. Well out in front from River Kemp at Stable Mate. Then we've got Black Absolute, Alpha Romeo, Holy Howe, the pre-race favourite, widest runner. With some lady, mine's Double Josephine, Midnight Fantasy, Chasing Clouds, Sphinx Princess, uh, Lord Babushka and Swift Lady as they go over the second. Three mile race, so two should be pulled up on the average. Who are the two trainers that pick the short straws? <clears throat> and it's Cuisine. Showing the way. So go over the third. <clears throat> Holy Howl is third out wide on the track. <clears throat> Still be hoping that it crosses down to the fence or is able to. They come to the next bend. It's actually crossing now. Still will be pretty happy about that. In fourth, we've got mine's Double Josephine and Some Lady on its outside. And in behind them is Midnight Fantasy with Black Absolute on its outside. Then we've got the Purple Stable Mates in Chasing Clouds and Lord Babushka. Outside of them is F1 Folus, it's Alpha Romeo and Sphinx Princess is at the tail with its stable mate Swift Lady. Eleven furlongs left to run. They come on down to the fourth. And up and over they go. About ten lengths first to last. And they race up to this next fence, the fifth. And we should be at it shortly. Here it is, and over they go. And everyone jumped it good to fast. And it's Kazine and leading by about a length to stable mate River Kemp. Then two and a bit away to some lady. Mine's a jo double Josephine, Midnight Fantasy, Holy How. Down on the fence. So take the ditch. And behind the favourite in black, Green Sash, is Black Absolute chasing clouds in behind it. Then we've got Lord Babushka and Swift Lady down on the fence and in the blue Alpha Romeo. And at the tail, Sphinx Princess just biding its time. 
And it's getting pulled up, Sphinx Princess. It's bad luck, Darren. So we should see one more get pulled up here. And over the second last they go, they've all got over it safely. So one more to jump, then it'll be a clean sheet. And another one getting pulled up here, it's Alpha Romeo. So bad luck, James. And tailing off now is Lord Babushka. Caught for pace. And that's the way it's running, I'd say it's going to get pulled up too. But at the front of the field now, we've got a change. And it's Midnight Fantasy as our leader at the three furlong pole. And is opening up the break here. And it's Midnight Fantasy clear for the time being. Coming out of the pack is Chasing Clouds. And the favourite as well, Holy Howe. Back on the fence, Kazine, and out wider is Swift Lady, and running on mine's double Josephine at the one and a half, and Midnight Fantasy still holding them. About two and a half clear of Holy Howe, chasing clouds. They go over the last. It was a good jump by Holy Howe. They run on down to the half furlong and it's Midnight Fantasy in front. Holy Howe slowly getting up on the outside and mine's a double Josephine flying, but Holy Howe wins from Midnight Fantasy. Mine's a double Josephine third. So no fallers, just the two pull-ups. And the favourite salutes. Holy how. Well done, Stu. You'll be very happy about that. Second was Midnight Fantasy, David Robinson. Third, mine's double Josephine, Kevin Minahan. Swift Lady was fourth for Darren Howes. And fifth was Chasing Clowns, Martin Leadham. And Lord Babushka, who at the top of the straight looked out of all sorts, has been able to run on and finish sixth.